I went to IDS because of Robert Chambers. I was getting fed up about lots of things I would notice and development and a friend lent me his book. Robert's book gave me hope and then I got the idea of emailing him to ask him to supervise me as a doctorate. He kindly answered that he hadn't supervised students in more than 20 years but uh, that he would pass my uh, proposal along to his colleagues in the participation group. A few months later, I was engaging in my uh, PhD. I met my best friends uh, in Robert Chambers' workshop. And also, I was privileged because I believe Robert attended every presentation I made during my doctorate. He would sit there, eyes closed, and sometimes we wondered if he was uh, falling asleep. But then he would make the most insightful and useful comment. He hadn't missed a single second of what you said. I was also lucky because Robert was my internal examiner. And I remember during the Viva process, when it's time to get back into the, the room, he started a conversation with uh, Marge Mayo about what made a good book and the difference between a thesis and a book and how to engage the, um, the people outside of academia. And after a while, I dared asking the question that was burning me, did I pass? And he started laughing and said, well, perhaps we should have told you that at the beginning. But the two lessons the most important from Robert were the first one was at, the, at his house. He had invited uh, the, doc, uh, the doctoral students and the MA participation group. And he made us visit uh, his garden. And um, he told us that with his wife, uh, they had a contest that his wife was tending the garden with cultivated flowers while his side of the garden was um, wild flowers and he would let them grow wild. But then he laughed again and told us that, you know, he had cheated a little bit by throwing some seeds here and there. Because you see, even natural processes can benefit from clever facilitation. And my last and most important lesson from Robert were uh, during a walk on the PG retreat and I asked him a question that I've asked several scholars uh, since that day. Robert, if there was one lesson from you that we should uh, remember, what would it be? He looked at me and with his half laughing voice, he said, remember the poor. They're the one that matter, not us. Robert, I have since that day, I had students from all over the world and I endeavor every day to pass on your legacy. Thank you for everything you're bringing to the world.